Okay, I'm going to try and put together this little tutorial on um, how to use uh, APK tool. Um, for me, it just seems to be the best uh, tool to decompile and recompile your files uh, when theming or um, editing things uh, for developing realms, things of that nature. So um, in the description, I'll put a little link to um, Nun's APK tool, which is just uh, folder how I have things set up uh, on my desktop. I have it zipped so all you'll really need to do is um, place it on your desktop and uh, you'll be good to go. So we'll start with the file that um, <coughs> I've downloaded and you're going to want to go use uh, WinZip. Uh, I use 7-Zip and I'm going to open the archive um, theme goodies and I'm going to take this place apk folder and I'm going to place it uh, on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and close that. <clears throat> and then if you open uh, the folder, you'll see in it uh, are the files needed for the APK tool. And I believe these are the most up-to-date. Um, th they're what I've used on uh, my latest ROMs, whether it be uh, Revelation or Absolution. Um, if you're working with Ice Cream Sandwich, uh, you'll need, need to find some different ones. But this is good for, uh, should be any ginger based gingerbread base ROM. <clears throat> so in this folder where it says place APKs here, I'm going to go ahead and, and rename it. Um, just for this one, we'll just call it uh, demo. But as you can see, uh, like up here, I have a folder called revelation. Um, and, and I have a folder, a different APK tool folder for uh, pretty much each of the projects that I'm working on. And if we look inside Revelation, you'll see um, here are all the different things that I've decompiled um, and they're named. And so uh, I'll show you how um, we can name those uh, later. But the nice thing about keeping uh, you know, these named folders is that you keep your files together. It's really easy to go back and find you know, an image you were looking for in a previous ROM or you know, to compare changes uh, that you've made previously to uh, the new stock ROM that you're working with. And then um, what you need to do is you're going to add the files um, that you want to decompile in here. And I'm going to go back to my revelation folder um, <clears throat> and in here I have revelation version 2 and I'm going to go ahead and um, open that archive and then what I'll do is I'll go to system app and to get things started um, you're gonna want to get the system UI and place it in that folder and then from the framework you're gonna want to take the framework res APK and you're gonna want the TW framework res uh, as well so we need those three files to uh, build the framework which is needed to uh, decompile and recompile all your um, folders or all your files successfully. So with this here, um, APK tool is a little bit different than APK manager in that it doesn't have a nice um, interface. Everything's done from uh, command line. So to get that command line with this folder open, I'll right click and actually you need to hold shift control and then right click and you'll see an open command window here. If I click that I should see um, the layout you know of the folder, the proper <coughs> folder structure there. And you just need to make sure that here you have um, the folder name that you're working with. And then <coughs> to begin I'm just going to start by building the framework files that you need. Um, there are three framework files that you need in order to decompile and recompile everything uh, correctly. And we're going to use is a command um, called if. And what that does is um, it just calls on those APKs when um, decompiling and recompiling. So um, basically, every command is going to start with APK tool. And then for this command, I'm going to go if. And then I'm going to type framework res apk and hit enter. <clears throat> and then you'll see there uh, framework installed. 
um, and it'll show you where it's installed, um, one.apk. And I'm going to go ahead and do this for my system UI. And then I'm going to do it for Oops, I'm going to do it for the TW framework. All right, so now you'll see that I've created the 1.1 APK, the 127 APK, and the 2. And then really quickly, um, I'll go and I'll show you uh, where those files are at. If you go to your Windows um, drive, um, you should see you know, your username, that's me and my wife, but uh, you'll see an APK tool folder and if you go there you'll see framework and then so these are the three files that I've created just now um, for that and you'll notice here that I have several folders um, here with different frameworks and you'll see I have a honeycomb framework I have um, one that I use for the HTC which um, is sense framework um, when I was working with sense ROMs and I have an ice cream sandwich um, and then I have um, the other gingerbread ones as well and what I'll do is because sometimes I go back and forth I just create a folder and then you know um, I will copy these paste them in there and then so that way whenever I need to switch from one um, framework to the next I can just pull uh, straight from that and I never have to do the if step um, again it's just uh, that simple and, and then you really never ever need to use this folder uh, again all right so now that I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you really simply, um, I'm going to change the color of the carrier uh, font on the um, system UI. So to decompile um, an APK or a jar file for that matter, you're going to go APK tool, D for decompile, and then the name of the APK. And then you're going to want to name it. And to name the folder, what I do is I hit dot backslash. And then you can name the folder whatever you want. So like for this one, I'll just put demo system UI. And then this really comes in handy when you're working with, you know, like theming different things. You don't have to have a different folder for every theme. You can have pink UI, green UI, orange UI, blue UI. Um, and it just helps you keep your stuff organized. And so once I have that all set up, I go ahead and hit enter and then you will see up here in the folder now I have a decompiled um, system UI and then I'm just going to minimize that <clears throat> if I double click in this folder you'll see that there is a res folder um, a smalley folder and then the manifest and the uh, APK tool and you really don't need to do too much with these ever um, or the smalley for that matter unless you're doing some major um, framework type of changes but most of the stuff that we do is in the res folder and then if you go you know um, in the drawable HDPI folder is where you will find um, all of your images and these are the images uh, right now in the system UI for um, revelation um, and you just see the, the different images in each thing um, and these can be changed uh, I wouldn't mess with point nines unless you know how maybe we'll do a tutorial for that uh, at a later date um, layout kinda shows where um, everything is uh, of course laid out um, values folder this is where um, a lot of the stuff you won't see if you just look at um, the zip file if you just uh, explore the zip file it'll all be um, it's all kind of hidden um, in the resource um, arc and this is from there and then there are other stuff um, that you know we don't use too often, but for the main part, um, drawable HDPI when theming, layout, and sometimes values folder um, you will need. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the layout folder, and I'm going to go to status bar expanded. And in the status bar expanded, um, you'll see there are several lines of um, code here. And so what I'm going to do is, here is the code for the carrier label. And I'm going to go ahead and um, 
let's just say I want to get rid of it altogether. To get rid of it altogether, on what I'm going to do, I probably could delete that line, but it might mess something up. So what I'm going to do is at the color code of this text color, I'm just going to add 00, and then I'm going to save my file. And so what I've done there is basically 00 describes the transparency, and this makes it completely transparent. Um, and so it'll just pretty much disappear. It'll still be there, but um, you won't be able to see it. And so that's, you know, just a simple change. Uh, you can do more as um, the time is ready. So now it's time to uh, go ahead and just recompile this. I'm going to bring back my command window. And then, <clears throat> again, I'm going to type APK tool. And this time for recompiling, it's B. B, and then I'm not too sure what these... Um, things do other than they'll I think they allow you to overwrite any files that already have there I always do minus F minus D and then you're going to use the name of your folder that you created so you don't need to do system UI you're going to do demo sys UI and I hit enter and now I've created that APK. And now if I go back into my demo SysUI folder, you'll see that there's now a dist folder and a build folder. <clears throat> um, what we could do um, is the build folder basically contains all of the files that you have in a recompiled state. So, um, you know, all my drawable folder. And you'll notice now that instead of the smalley folder and the values folder, we now have the classes and the resources. Um, and so if you did something to the values folder, you know, all of your changes would be uh, here. And this comes in handy for, like, let's say you just did the one file like we did. We now could take um, the status bar expanded, pull it over to our, uh, throw it in, in our APK, you know, using 7-zip, and we'd be good to go. <clears throat> but I'm going to show you kind of how I do things and it just makes it easier for me. In the disk folder here we have the recompiled APK. Um, you'll notice it's not in, um, it's not properly capitalized so you're gonna want to properly capitalize it and you you can just look at um, the other APK and then if we open it in 7-zip you'll see the full the files here um, that you traditionally see you know whenever you look inside however um, there is a, a folder missing and so we're gonna go back to the original system UI and open it and so now when we compare the two um, you'll notice that this one has a meta info folder um, and that this one does not have and and basically from what I've been told this is kind of like signing the APK I take the meta info and the Android manifest and I pull them over to my new APK and I click yes and so now basically um, I've done everything I need to do and this APK is ready to um, be thrown into a zip that can be flashed or you can push it over using ADB it's entirely up to you but um that, for the most part, is um, decompiling, recompiling uh, in a nutshell. Hopefully it helps out a little bit, uh, and hopefully, if it helps, maybe we'll make some more tutorials like this uh, in the near future.